Um, Dana, we want to ask you about something else that has become a daily fascination, mm -hmm. which is what's going on with the president's advisor, Kellyanne Conway, and her husband, George Conway, and the president of the United States. And it keeps getting stranger and stranger. And we're in a new phase, which is that Kellyanne Conway herself is speaking publicly and directly about this feud between George Conway and the president. Listen to what Kellyanne just said in a new interview. My husband also has been very critical of the president publicly, which is unlike him, just because he's um, traditionally been a very private person. In 2016, which was known as the year of the tweet, George Conway sent exactly zero tweets. So this is new. And what also is new is not supporting the agenda of the president and my work there. So again, th this has been going on for some time where George Conway has been very critical of the president of the United States, says he's not mentally fit at this point to be president. The president has just responded by attacking George Conway on Twitter and out in public. But again, is really new is Kellyanne Conway is speaking out in public directly about this, Dana. And I'm wondering why. She doesn't have a choice. Um, look, when I spoke to her uh, a, a couple of times, but most mm -hmm. recently about this for, for a, a series that I do, um, it was back in February. And things were pretty calm then uh, with regard to her husband. I mean, he was still sending out tweets, retweets. He had already formed his uh, conservative lawyers against Trump group, uh, but it was kind of in a, in a lull. Obviously, that changed <laughs> big time this yeah. week when her husband uh, went after her boss for being mentally unstable and continued to do it. And then, of course, the president of the United States fired back not once on Twitter, not twice, but then on the South Lawn. So here you have Kellyanne Conway completely in the middle of it. And commenting on it. And look, here's, here's the reality. When they all talk about it, and it is a very, very unusual, even unprecedented situation, we, we discuss. I will tell you on the substance of what she said, guys, um, she's right. I did a, a piece on Kellyanne Conway in the fall of 2016. Went to her house in New Jersey. Um, she was a campaign manager for, for Donald Trump, the first woman to ever uh, be a campaign manager for a major uh, Republican candidate. And she uh, had her family there. George Conway was in the house, but he didn't even come say hello, which usually happens off camera. He was hiding from the cameras. He didn't want to have anything to do with it, which speaks to what she was saying about the fact that he was very, very private. He wanted no part of the publicity of it and that he supported the president. Um, she, in my interview, talked about the fact that on election night he was wearing his MAGA hat and he was all gung-ho and things changed. And things obviously changed in a very dramatic way in terms of his position, but also the way that he wanted to express it. And we're all seeing it play out uh, in a pretty, again, unprecedented and unfortunate way.